Are you aware that there is a grand plan? There is a grand plan to demonetize the church. Nobody can demonetize the church. Jesus said, I will build my church. The gate of hell come. Shh, you don't know history. It can happen. The revival in Nigeria can never die because Nigeria is the firstborn of God in Africa. God has many sons. And sometimes firstborn can be useless. The seven churches that John sent those letters to, they are no longer in existence, including the one Jesus commended. Turkey was once the hub of revival. Check what is happening in South Korea. Check what is happening in Europe. In the days of John Wesley, Charles Wesley, Charles G. Finley, power of God moved across Europe. Now they are a monument. Nigeria can become a shadow of itself and is heading there. Until the new generation understand how to leave noise and stay in the place of counter propaganda strategies. That can't happen if you are not loud. The end time church must fight. It is a war. When they talk, you talk. When they say it, you say it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It is a war. Oh, yes. When they say it in the air, our silence means that is the narrative. The church must speak. We don't get it. Nothing can happen to Nigeria. Something is happening to Nigeria already. Something is. And the devil knows how to do it well. Sit down for a while. Let me show you a concept. Don't tell anybody I told you, but I'm going to say it. I've been scammed before. One of the ways you know you are dealing with scammers is that they want you to pay now. A scammer doesn't want you to think. So when I was scammed, they told me, it was somebody who sold, I thought I won, so. I didn't know I didn't win the suit properly. So, they said, they were bringing a, good, a load from America. Then, the guy said, his wallet dropped inside. I didn't think. <laughs> ah! the, the wallet contained $25,000. Then now they stopped the wallet at the airport. And they are saying they have to bail it out with some money. Say so once the wallet God gets to you, we are going to give five thousand dollars. That was what me I had. <laughs> then dollar was still about one fifty or thereabout. Ah, five thousand. Ah. <laughs> Where was I? Ilife. How much is shop? Sixty thousand, fifty thousand. I will pass on the road trekking, and I'll be looking at see. I'm going to get this place. <laughs> Who will break these shops together? Then, yeah, people are barbing there. People are watching ball here. There's ice cream spot here. I'm going to come and take all this place. I, I wasn't thinking. I want to show you something very powerful. So I went to go and meet a sister in church. And I said, please, because I didn't have money when they said I should pay money. I didn't have. So I told sister, I said, Please, can you put money? Say, ah, pastor, this money is my school fees. I say, give me. We're about to be rich. <laughs> so she gave me. Then these cameras wanted more. I see borrowed some more. Then they wanted more again. I said, oh, I'm done. This is what I have. At least let this in land. Then I'll take out of it. <laughs> So one day they called me, and they didn't know they were calling me. So I picked the and for like 16 minutes, I was hearing pidgin English. A guy who has been speaking for now. <laughs> ah! My saliva dried. My, I started running temperature. But I noticed something in their strategy. They were not giving me a room to think. Pay attention. This is the way you will know thieves and correct laborers. To establish doctrine, it takes teaching and labor. And you give people breathing space. Any doctrine I try to establish without giving you room to think is a lie. If I tell you 
that anybody who is doing against what I'm saying is a liar or a thief or a scammer. Bible doctrine are not established by saying any pastor who take tithe from you is a scammer. Mm -mm. You labor by showing line upon lines, precept upon precept. Listen to what I'm saying. That there is a difference between the Levitical order of tithe and the Abrahamic order of tithe. Levite was in Abraham's loins when Abraham gave tithe to Melchizedek. What was abolished was the law. We don't give tithe as a commandment. We give because we are blessed. And if you think this church needs your money, so I'm going to give tithe. Let me tell you something. We did what we did. Making an announcement like a joke. Let me leave it. God's work done in God's way doesn't lack God's provision. That God will fund his work constant. Who he will use variable. I was just saying it on Sunday. We're going to give 100 bags of rice. After the service, they come and say, Apostle, yes, sir. somebody said, I'm giving the 100 bags. That bag, those rice will be distributed. Ibadan, Potakot, Ife, we're going to give students. That money could have been spent in club. No be Momo, they do that one. Be, care be careful of narratives. You see, I can't build a body of doctrine by demonizing those who are against me. I show you. This is the Bible. It took me time to learn it. The proof that I know it is that the patience I received from God when I didn't know it, I'd give it to those who don't know it. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. You see, the best strategy for the devil is that a house that is divided against itself cannot stand. The devil's goal can't be achieved. Let, 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 me, let me tell you something. I'm going to say it and leave it. Um, till Jesus comes, there will be errors in the body of Christ. Till Jesus comes, there will be thieves and there will be original. You don't open your shop to pursue a thief. And let, I'm trying to give you something. The body of Christ, many atrocities going on, needs correction. The reason why the corrective ministry of many are not accepted is because they are not correcting with the spirit of meekness. Oh my. Let me give you an illustration. One of the things I had to learn when I got married is that if what I want to say, I want it to effect a change in my spouse, then just say it in a way that she will understand. Simple. Since the change is the goal, not all in her. Copy and paste, bride of Christ. If change is the goal, you speak tenderly to Zion. Abuja Church, you are the best in catching up slowly. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Okay. Ah? I'm here. We're going to labor over this till you get it. There's power in stories. It's power in stories. The end time church is not a fun fair church. It's a warring church. A battle ready church. Uh, can you fight? 
can you, do you do you do you do you mind the insult? Small one they test you with around church or kind. Just toss be just it's checking you out. Why do you do that? <laughs> man up. <laughs> the first time I was dragged. It was like they flogged me overnight. I said, then this is not good. So I started craving for dragging. Because you have to repeat this process till I can no longer feel. When you're in the military school, what you fear is what you confront till you have no weakness. You fear height, you have to go through it. You fear water, you have to go through it. That thing you are afraid of can become your weak spot. Some of you are afraid of being cancelled. Eat cancelling for breakfast. Look at the person sitting beside you and say, Be strong and be courageous. Be bold. Be audacious. The people that handed over this thing to us, they were dragged on the floor on horses. We are dragged with words. And we are to earnestly contend for the faith that was delivered to us. Look at the power of narratives. You have children. Then they tell your children. You have no gender till you're of age. Because nobody is born with a specific gender. Your gender is your choice. And you spend time educating them in that regard. And then somebody said, God is not interested in sending believers to, to go and enter systems. Our business is salvation. Just win souls. Dumb, 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 dumb. Dumb statement. I say it again. It's a dumb statement the souls you want to win it will be too late do you know what happens when schools indoctrinate children look at this Deborah was in the seat of power and it achieved the purpose of God the Jews would have been terminated but that God had Esther there when Esther was in power the purpose of God was achieved. When Joseph was in power, the 12 tribes were rescued, including Judah. When Daniel was in power, he was the one who understood by books that this is the time to go back and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And there could be the gathering back because God had a man. You want to have power where God doesn't have men. Wrong strategy. Wrong strategy. You say, eh, it is not the lack of Christians in places that affect things. Yes, actually, you are correct in a way. But this is it. The church has made a mistake of graduating students who didn't pass. The mistake of raising people without a predictable curriculum if you are going to be a medical doctor, there's a curriculum in medical school that if you start from part one till you get to this level, the end product is that a doctor should emerge. That curriculum will emerge clinicals, will emerge, at, will, will, will require attachment, will require many things. You'll have to work on cadavers. The end is that by the time you learn this and come out, a doctor is out. You need a curriculum to be an accountant. You go through this. When you come out, you are not trying to say what software should I use. You learn it. Huh? You need a curriculum to be a nurse. And all your field of study. What curriculum do we have for Christians that are going into sectors? Because that the sector will eradic is capable of radicalizing people. Is set. So we look at what is there. The weight and the pull. We built curriculum including viva, that is theory and practicals. That if you stay 
here for the space of two years under my teaching and leadership. When we put you there, we can close our eyes that God has a man. If you do not go through that curriculum, if we are so much in a hurry, because we want to have a program that shows believers in sectors and put you on the altar to talk, when Christ is not formed in you, we have watered down the process. We don't bring Christians in power. We bring the ones who are formed. We are after Daniels and Josephs. Not just anybody. There are fakes who have gone. The originals are imagined. Oh yes. The originals are imagined. Do you know what money looks like? That you stay in the sector. That when you are going for a conference, they bring the girls with the kind of shape that also exists in Maraba or Yaya. <laughs> Apologies if that's your area. <laughs> this one, you don't know where they are coming from, whether under the sea, and they say this is your souvenir for the night. What have you imbibed that has become strong in you that you can say, let everyone go to sleep? I will shut my door. Give me vegetable and water. Check me after 10 days. You must have found God. So it means that the people who are going there must be as strong or stronger than pastors. Let me tell you why. The church is an easier place to be. The church is easy. Nobody's coming here trying to come and shake me so I can die. Are you trying to say now? Even if they are coming here, they'll be afraid. But we are going to places where somebody wants to shake you with a ring for taking a contract. And the idea is that you won't wake up. You must know power. It means power is not just for the altar. We do business with power. We need power to navigate the world. Have respect to covenant for the dark places of this world. is full of the habitation of wickedness. You need power. It is not for apostles. It is to navigate this wicked world. Are you following what I'm saying here? That you are in places they know. This one will not compromise. Because the curriculum that bets you. You sat on that. See, let me tell you something. The school of destiny always have its door of exit opened. You can graduate yourself at any time. But you will not become more than what you have learned. I'm saying it is not everybody who put pastor or apostle behind their name that graduated. Oh my. Hello. Thank you for watching the video. And I hope it was a great asset to you. And I hope it will go somewhere in this time. If we haven't commented, if we haven't liked this to them. And for more videos, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get more videos. God bless you.